Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you for coming back to another broadcast over here at the Ellis Network. <clears throat> Forgive my voice. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my voice at the moment. But um, a couple days ago, I don't know if you guys are aware of it. I was a little aware of it, but I didn't read into the details until what I'm bringing out to you guys now. And it's really not on the details of what happened, but the aftermath. And a couple days ago, there was an, a, a terrorist attack in Egypt. Um, it was at a mosque. Uh, right in the middle of a Friday prayer. Um, and basically what happened was there was a bomb that blew up inside this mosque. Killing a bunch of people. And then as the survivors were fleeing the uh, the mosque. You know when they busted out the door out to the streets. There was military leaders lined up in the streets. And just started gunning them down as they were trying to escape. Um, very very sad situation that happened. Again, we've seen that hap this this kind of stuff happening worldwide, and it's starting to happen here in America that people are getting pried on, preyed on, based on their religion. You know, you can't go into a church. Look at Texas. Uh, the same day Texas or Texas happened. Look at Fresno. Not a whole lot of people know about Fresno, but we brought it out that there was a gun shooting at a Fresno church the same day as Texas. Matter of fact, they were just a few hours apart. Um, but this is, they actually interviewed a survivor from this mosque, and there's a video clip in this article, I'm not going to play the video, video, I'm just going to read a little bit of the article to you guys, again, you know how I operate, I'll put the, the article in the description, you guys can read it and watch the video if you would like, um, there was a lot of people at, at this place that lost their life. At least 305 people died in the assault, which was launched during Friday prayers and has not been yet claimed by any group. By the way, this is coming from BBC, uh, BBC News. It was posted about five hours ago. Um, right here on the East Coast, we are at 1.15 p.m. Saturday. So five hours ago, it would have been roughly around 8, 7, 8, 9 o'clock this morning. Um, and has not... It, it has not been, you know, claimed by any group yet, okay? But they're talking to this survivor, and he's stating that some of the gunmen had um, ISIS flags. They were carrying ISIS flags by gunmen, um, says officials. So, you know, they're leaning towards ISIS doing it, but we know ISIS, you know, normally when they do something like this, they're quick to come out and take credit for it. Um... So far, there has not been any ISIS recognition for it at all. So we'll just have to see within the next couple of days what um what's going to happen on this. Um, Friday's attack in the town of Bel Bur Al Abded. I'm, I'm sorry, this is Egypt here. In the con it is the country's is the country's deadliest in recent memory. And I can't speak apparently either, so I'm I'm very sorry for that, guys. Um, the mosque was bombed, and then dozens of gunmen waiting outside opened fire on those trying to escape. Some attackers wore masks and military-style uniforms. The assailants reportedly set parked vehicles on fire in a vicinity to block access to the building and fired on ambulances trying to save victims. Thirty children are among the dead. And more than 100 people have been wounded. So 305 people have lost their lives in this bombing. 30 of them were children. Crazy. Um, the armed forces and police will avenge our, our martyrs and restore security stability with the utmost uh, force. And that's what Mr. Sisis, the president of Egypt, is saying. Um, so, ISIS hasn't taken claim for this, um, a survivor is saying that he witnessed some of these gunmen carrying ISIS flags that there, that there may be a tie to ISIS, but we also know from past attacks, when ISIS claims, when, when they've done something, they take claim to it pretty quickly. This is uh, roughly about 48 hours after the effect, and there's still no 100% claim from ISIS. But the survivor saying that there was an ISIS flag held by multiple gunmen.
So there might be a tie to it. Again, we'll keep an eye on it. See what um, see what comes out of this. Um, also, in other news around the world, Turkey is happy with the United States. I'll find the article again. I wasn't going to report on this, but Turkey's happy with the United States because the United States has finally stopped supporting the Kurds, the Kurd forces, the Turkish Kurd Kurdish forces. And if you guys remember back in the day. I want to say roughly about six, seven, maybe eight months ago back on my channel when we talked about Turkey becoming a player and how they were really angry with America for supporting the Kurdish forces. Even Turkey told the Americans that the Kurdish forces were a terrorist or a terrorist organization within Turkey. America come out and said, we know that, but we don't care because this isn't Turkey. So... United States was, in fact, harboring and helping a known terrorist organization. Even though it wasn't deemed a terrorist organization towards Americans, but it, Turkey looked at the Kurds as a terrorist organization. Well, the bonds between America and the Turkish Kurd, Kurdish forces are over. And Erdogan, the president of Turkey, he's very happy with that. Um, that was a NBC post. I'll see if I can find it. I'll post it in the link for you guys. Let you guys read it. Let me know what you guys think. Drop comments in the comment section. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video.